Well, Nate Diaz is in trouble. Does that mean the end of Jake Paul, Nate Diaz? We're gonna find out. Also, I'm gonna be breaking down Law Muhammad Gilbert Burns. That fight that's coming up, UFC 288, was just announced. I'm gonna be breaking down, giving my thoughts on that. But there's a lot to talk about in the MMA world. So, as always, thank you guys for watching. And before this video starts, I want to know the question of the day. How much money would it take for you to get choked out by Nate Diaz? And I know there's gonna be a lot of weirdos in the comment section saying they do it for free. Come on, I know a lot of you guys would. But let me know how much, how much would it take for you to get guillotine choked unconscious by Nate Diaz? Let me know in the comment section below and let's get into this video. This video is sponsored by Arep. Make sure to check them out in the link in the description and use code JACK10 to get 10% off of the best MMA merchandise, streetwear, and all of that. Go check it out in the link in the description and enjoy the video. All right, what's going on with Nate Diaz? How did this whole thing happen? Why is he now getting arrested in the state of Louisiana? I'm going to be talking about this right now. And to talk about it, I'm going to have to take you guys all the way back to April 21st, 2023, just a couple days ago. Nate Diaz was in New Orleans because of a fight, because of Misfits Boxing, his training partner, Chris. Avila was fighting. He beat Paul Mamba on that night. Nate Diaz was just there to support his friend. He was there when he fought Dr. Mike all the way back in October. They're very tight-knit, you know, close guys. Chris won the fight, so I guess they were just chilling there. And Nate did get into some sort of confrontation with this other influencer. He basically classically threw a water bottle at him. Basically what he does to everybody. Like, seriously, what is up with this guy water bottles? You saw him throw water bottles at Hamza. This guy loves water bottles. He loves throwing them. Anyway, but somehow I guess it's kind of spilled out to the street. It's kind of unclear how this street fight started and Nate Diaz choked out Logan Paul. Kidding guys it's not Logan Paul it's actually a Logan Paul lookalike who's featured in a lot of Logan Paul content and for those of you guys saying that he's untrained he actually is a trained fighter he's a blue belt he also has a boxing background not saying that makes it right because he did clearly not want to fight Nate Diaz but we don't know the whole situation so I will refrain on saying hey that Nate Diaz just kind of attacked a guy that had no intention of fighting like I really don't understand why this guy went up to Nate Diaz in the first place maybe he was just trying to break up the fight by the same time i do believe he did put his hands on nate diaz and in my opinion look it's not like nate diaz beat the shit out of him stomped on his body look he just choked him out i like how i say that as if it's just something little not trying to say that at all but i could see a scenario where maybe this guy was involved in the fight or maybe nate even confused him as part of the fight so i don't think that this is necessarily nate diaz just attacking guys i assume that there was some sort of misunderstanding nate diaz doesn't really seem like the type to just randomly pick out civilians and start choking them out you know what i mean normally when he gets an altercation it's usually because there's back and forth or something or another i don't think this is just some purely random guy out there which i might get hate for because i do see a lot of people turning on nate diaz because of this the guy probably was trying to break up the fight nate diaz maybe interpreted him as part of the fight maybe nate was also you know drunk whatever and did it now obviously nate is in the wrong for this in my opinion if this is the case even though it was a mistake and i think nate is going to probably get sued by this guy because who wouldn't i would sue nate diaz if this happened to me try to get some extra change but nate diaz actually has bigger problems because there is a warrant for his arrest he is being charged with second degree battery which a punishment could be up to eight years in prison twenty five hundred dollars or both i think we kind of know where this is going at the end of the day usually these rich celebrities usually get away with whatever so i would assume that nate diaz is probably gonna have to pay a measly twenty five hundred dollars to get away scot-free i don't think this will be a big deal he could probably afford really good lawyers dude is probably gonna fight jake paul for a couple million so twenty five hundred really isn't anything out of his pocket will this affect the jake paul nate diaz fight i don't think so i saw ksi kind of alluding to this saying he would step in however i don't think that this will be a problem we'll most likely see the fight still go down in august we saw Jorge Masvidal just fight gilbert burns when he had a similar assault charge on him and he still hasn't gone through with the trial and plus this thing will probably be dragged on way after the jake paul fight usually these things take a long time to figure out look i'm not gonna pretend to be a lawyer but i'm sure everything will be fine for nate but i think you should be more concerned about being sued because he's probably gonna get sued for quite a lot but let me know what you guys think do you guys think that nate diaz was in the wrong for this do you think that he'll actually go to jail i doubt so let me know in the comment section below but let's break down the big blah muhammad gilbert burns fight all right, you know it's a good day when we have a sponsor. The sponsor of today's video is actually a sponsor I'm super excited to work with is Aret. Aret is a streetwear brand from the UK that is designs inspired by mixed martial arts. They have designs inspired by fighters like Darren Till, Patty Pimblett, and so much more. The people over there were nice enough to send me a hoodie of my own. As you guys could see, you know, it says kill everybody like seriously i had no idea what these hoodies were gonna look like but i was insanely surprised these hoodies look dope as hell look if you guys want to go check out their designs which i really suggest you guys do go hit the link in the description and use code jack10 to get 10 percent off of your order that means you're gonna help me as well as help yourself because you're gonna get some dope ass merch while also getting a massive discount but let's just get back into the video 
All right, Blah Muhammad, Gilbert Burns, what's going on with this fight? All right, let's break it down. UFC 288, Aljamain Sterling, Henry Cejudo was gonna go down. The main event is still intact, but the co-main event was supposed to be Charles Oliveira, Benil Darius. We all know a couple weeks ago, Charles Oliveira had to pull out of the fight due to some sort of injury. Clearly wasn't that bad of an injury because the fight only got postponed another month. But the UFC was like, hey, we need a co-main event. The UFC was scrambling and decided on Bilal Muhammad, Gilbert Burns. This is a fight that they were talking about. Bilal Muhammad had some sort of weight issues, but decided to make 170 and respect to Bilal you know because Gilbert Burns is coming off of a training camp Gilbert Burns has all the physical advantages going into this fight he definitely will have an easier weight cut than Bilal Muhammad will and also another thing to keep in mind is Bilal is coming off of Ramadan so this fight will take place May 6th in just under two weeks and whoever wins this fight is actually not going to be the number one contender crazy enough Colby Covington is still getting the title shot according to Gilbert Burns but I guess whoever wins this fight will get the title shot after that which might literally be a year's time if Leon fights Colby at the end of the year and then the winner of that returns we might see the winner of this fight return in a year's time which sucks i think they should have probably put maybe some sort of interim title on the line or something like that at least to guarantee them pay-per-view points next time out but i wanted to give some of my thoughts on this matchup and i will break it down when we get into fight week a little bit more clearly but i don't like this matchup for Bilal muhammad now i do like Bilal. i know Bilal does get a lot of hate Bilal is always game to fight everybody and he posted his weight a couple days ago he's 190 pounds he's gonna have to cut quite a lot of weight and i do think that it's possible for him to make the weight but another thing to keep in mind is that he was going through Ramadan. He probably wasn't training as much as he usually does. So even in that department, Gilbert Burns is going to have an advantage because like I said, he just fought Jorge Masvidal. Yes, he might have took a couple weeks off, but literally last pay-per-view, he just fought. So he's going to be close to the weight. And when you look at the styles between them, I mean, Gilbert Burns has a lot of power. We've seen Bilal Muhammad get knocked out. And if this goes to the ground, we've seen that Gilbert Burns' jiu-jitsu is just on another level. I've said this before, but Kamaru Usman was even afraid to go to the ground with him. Watch the Kamaru Usman fight with Gilbert Burns. Yes, Gilbert Gilbert Burns did lose that fight, but he did show a lot of success, like almost dropping Kamaru Usman. Gilbert Burns is as high level as they get, and I'd probably pick Gilbert Burns if Bala Muhammad had a full training camp, let alone all of these factors. I don't like it for Bala Muhammad, but respect to him for taking the fight, because if he wins, that's a big deal. You can't deny this guy a title shot. Personally, I think whoever wins this fight should probably skip Colby. They deserve it. You know, Colby's getting enough privilege. He should have stepped in on short notice if he really wants that title shot. But how do I see this fight going? Honestly, I think Gilbert Burns will get a finish. I think we saw, especially in the Leon Edwards fight, fight with Bala Muhammad. He got hit quite a lot. Even against Sean Brady, he got hit a lot. And Gilbert Burns has a lot of power. I could see a scenario where he knocks down Bala Muhammad and takes full advantage and finishes him. Plus, if it goes to later rounds, I think Gilbert will have an advantage. However, he was training for a three-round fight, not a five-round fight. So that being said, maybe if it goes to later rounds, maybe both guys struggle. But I think Gilbert's probably going to be more equipped to handle that. So I'm going to go with Gilbert Burns by finish. I'm not really sure what yet. I'm going to do more of a breakdown when we get closer to the fight, giving my exact prediction. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are always so supportive let me know what you guys want to see in the next video i'm pretty slow on news right now not much coming out but i hope you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like if you did and i'll see you guys in the next one